um, we used to go to the dance classes, uh, go out to various clubs, go out for meals and things, and we got on very well together. Um, so uh, over the course of the rest of 2009 and into mid, um, early 2010, and we decided that um, you know, we were compatible and that we would get married. Well, this is the jug that she had taken and um, filled or three quarters filled with boiling water from the kettle. Um, she only had to carry it a short distance. But I could hear that she was boiling the kettle while I was sitting down because you can hear that what's going on in the kitchen from the, the dining room. Didn't take much attention to that. I was pretty involved in what I was doing. Next thing I was aware of was um, a lot of water being hot water being poured over my head and searing burning pain and I heard the jug fall to the floor and what she'd actually done is best part filled this particular jug which holds two litres and she had dumped what was in the contents of that straight over the top of my head which spread out over my shoulders um, and was causing me quite agonising pain. The injuries is uh, covered 14% of my, my body from um, my scalp, my ears, cheeks round my neck and down my back in an even pattern from each shoulder going down my back which has left scars to today which will probably never totally um, heal. She said to one of the police officers who it has been recorded and noted, she said if I'd wanted to kill him I would have used a knife and that, that was really the last thing I'd heard from her because I went off in the ambulance. Well I found that the police and their support mechanisms were pretty good. Um, victim support and such, but generally there's an apathy that seems to be around the courts where um, if a man is being violated against violently, then he has to have had some sort of an input towards it. There's sort of the um, the strong male over the over the poor weak female, but uh, um, there seems to be a general conception that somewhere along the line you was either the uh, protagonist or, or whatever. Don't be frightened, get it reported, you don't have to put up with it. It's the same message that they put out for women many years ago, you don't have to put up with, with abuse, violent or verbal, go and see somebody and get it sorted out.